we'll see question of quantitative aptitude asked in many competitive exams question reads person p asked one of his three friends x how much money he had so x has replied that if y gives me rupees 40 then y will have half of money of z but if z gives me rupees 40 then three of them will be e having equal amount so what is the amount of money held with x y z and answer is rupees 360 so i'll explain the question again person p is asking one of his three friends x how much money he is having now x is replied in two statements statement one and this is statement two then third thing is in the statements if you see there is no mention of p so that means p is a superfluous data and is got no role in the question next thing is that uh, in the statements he has mentioned amount in absolute terms no percentages so now we'll find out the values of x y and z individually by making equations then only we can arrive at the total amount of money so we'll see the solution the first statement is x is saying if y gives him rupees 40 then y will have half of money held by the z so y has given 40 rupees to x and he becomes half of z so this is our equation one here we can say z is equal to 2y minus 80 now another statement x says z gives me rupees 40 then all three of them will be equal so one equation we can formulate that z has given 40 rupees to x so x is now 40 rupees plus x plus 40 and is equal to y so this is our equation 2 and here we can say x is equal to y minus 40 and then from this statement only we can say y is equal to z minus 40 because z has given 40 rupees to x and then all three of them are having equal money so this our equation this becomes our equation 3 and from equation 3 we can draw that z is equal to y plus 40 because you take 40 to left hand side and you get z is equal to y plus 40 so this becomes our equation 4 now equate 1 and 4 why because uh, here it is z and here also we have z so fortunately we have got the value of z is uh, at both the places is in terms of y so we equate them so 2y minus 80 is equal to y plus 40 or y is equal to 120 now substitute value of y in equation 2 so we get x is equal to 80 and substitute value of y in equation 4 so we get z is equal to 160 so when we add these three terms we get total as 360 this is our answer so hope it is clear so thank you very much and thanks for watching